this week's Brainstorm Science with Scotland. I'm Scotland, and this is my experiment assistant, Rebecca. Hello. So when I think about lava, I remember as a kid, we would play a game called Don't Touch the Lava, jumping from pillow to pillow. And I even think about those cool, groovy lava lamps. And since they're so cool, let's make one. For today's experiment, here's what you'll need. You'll need a clear glass, water, food coloring, vegetable oil, and Alka-Seltzer tablets. And as you might know, we like to spice things up a bit, so we're also going to use glitter, but this is absolutely optional. So first, you want to fill your glass a fourth of the way full with water. And so next, we'll add in our favorite color of food coloring. So I think I'm going to go with yellow this time. I always go with blue, because blue is my favorite color. I'll just put a few drops. A few drops? A few squirts, rather. All right, this is also the point where you'll add in the optional glitter. So I'll go with gold. I'll go with silver. This is going to look like space right now. You ready? <laughs> Give it a little twirl around shake. Next, you'll add in your vegetable oil, and you'll fill it the rest of the way up, but just leave a little room so there's no overfill. And remember a few weeks ago, we talked about density. Well, you'll notice the oil and water begin to separate. The oil floats to the top since it is less dense than the water, and it also prefers to stick with molecules of its kind. Now to our final step. Take the Alka-Seltzer tablet, drop it in, and get ready. So let's talk science behind this. The Alka-Seltzer tablets are a mixture of citric acid and sodium bicarbonate, which is better known as baking soda. When it's added to the water, it begins to react as we can see the acid and sodium bicarbonate begin to form carbon dioxide bubbles, which rise through the oil carrying the colored water. Then when carbon dioxide is released, the bubbles pop and the colored water begins to fall back down, since again, the water and oil cannot mix. And another really cool thing about this experiment is once everything is settled, you can put the lid back on the jar and store it away for another time. All you will need to do when you're ready again is add in more Alka-Seltzer. Well, we hope you enjoyed making these cool lava lamps. We'll be back next week with another experiment that you can do at home again.